Hey everybody, Grumpy Gaming Dad here. How are we all doing? I'm uh, coming at you today with something slightly different. This is going to be a mod installation tutorial, and it's a YouTube only video, and uh, not one of my usual Twitch exports. So uh, we're going to give this a go. I've had a couple of requests recently about uh, how to install mods and where to get them from and that sort of thing. Um, so we're going to do a, just a, a very quick uh, mod add-in video. Um, predominantly to get an American truck in there. We could do a trailer pack as well while we're at it. So this is a BTS2 obviously. I'm running version 1.21. Uh, version 1.22 is currently out in beta and that's the version that has the World of Trucks functionality and you can get the online jobs and things like that. Uh, unfortunately, as is often the way, uh, 1.22 does seem to break some mods, so we're going to keep to the earlier version just to make our lives a little bit easier for this recording. So we take a look at our mod manager and we can see it's absolutely empty. I've got no mods in the folder, I've got no mods installed. It is a plain vanilla game. The only thing I have got included uh, is the DLC, so I've got the Going North and the Going East DLC. And that's it. A quick look at the map. Come on game, there we go. Quick look at the map. And that's it. I've got Scandinavia in there. I've got uh, Going East over here. Nothing else. And what we'll do after this, we'll maybe do a little series or videos on mods. And I think we'll have a look at getting some maps included afterwards, maybe pro mods. Um, Poland rebuilding, Russia if it's working. Russia's a bit funny at the moment, I think. But anyway, let's get some mods going. So we want an American truck. I've decided to go for the Freightliner Classic XL reworked version 1.6. That's a long name. I've been using an earlier version of this truck in my streams uh, for a couple of weeks now, and I really do enjoy this truck. It's good fun to drive. It's got a, a fairly nice model. Uh, but this one is an update, this is version 1.6, and it caught my eye because it's got a paint job included as well. Um, one of the issues I had, or one of the, the one negative thing I could really think about this truck on my, on my stream, was that it had no uh, paint jobs. It was a very plain, boring truck, uh, which was a shame because it's good fun to drive, but you could just have the, the normal flat paint for the game, and um, that kind of let it down a little bit. Uh, but this one's updated, I've not run this before, so we're going to give it a go, see what it's like, see if we get any problems. Uh, so, downloads, uh, I use uh, four or five different sites, this one is ets2mods.com. Um, with downloads, it's always, you know, it's the luck of the draw, the download link will take you to a, a file hosting site. Uh, that file hosting site will no doubt try and pump out adverts to you. Some of those adverts could be malicious, uh, they could be malware, they could be scareware, uh, they could have stupidly loud adverts tucked in behind them, they'll open pop-up windows. Um, you've got to be very careful when you do downloading. I've not done this one before, so we shall give it a go. So let's click the download link. What do we get? Uh, share mods website uh, not had a massive amount of fun with the share mods website it does tend to do some nasty things but we'll benefit of the doubt we'll give it a go uh, that's still loading there appears to be a single download button there uh, many of the sites will attempt to trick you they'll have multiple download buttons and it won't be immediately obvious that the one you're about to click isn't for what you're after it is in fact for additional programs that you don't want and you should avoid um, there's a single button here so we're going to hit that see what happens that looked like we had a pop-up window that's hidden itself behind our primary one so let's just check that hey and it's a nasty one it's been blocked yeah thanks share mods there we go let's kill that um, despite the fact we've had that pop up blocked. I'm going to hit the button again because uh, I've noticed on most of these mod hosting websites you do have to click it several times and it counts how many times you click it 
and once it thinks you've suffered enough it will then actually give you the file so we click that again we've got a pop behind I can just see it. oh and there's the file itself okay uh, it's a zip file we're going to save that down first there we go that's ticking away in the corner oh sorry I kept you waiting it's earning and where the hell is that? I spent my life. There we go. So that's sneakily chucked up. Uh, uh, not only a, a pop behind that you could see, it did a second one, which as you could hear, played a really annoying advert. So that wasn't very pleasant. Um, that's share mods. There we go. It's a shame, but that's what they do. So one malware one normal advert and one offensive advert so thanks guys right well that's downloading let's move on to the trailer pack um, this is another website I use ets2downloads.com uh, this is the road hunter trailer pack I've really enjoyed this as well this has been a great mod so far uh, I almost exclusively used the Jazzy Cat trailers uh, for a long long time and then I stumbled across this one and this Road Hunter trailer pack's really good as well. I still use Jazzy Cat, but this is a single download for how many trailers? 68 trailers. It's really good. We see some of the screenshots here. We've got some interestingly sized ones or shaped ones. Um, we've got some long trailers. We've got heavy trailers in there as well. We've got low loaders. Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff going on. It's quite an interesting pack. And we'll download this as well. Uh, appears to be a single download button for here. We give that a go. And that's going into Mega. Ah, that's good. Um, I do appreciate the Mega upload site. Everything I've had from here has been fuss free. There's been no nasty pop ups, there's been no scareware, there's been no malware. It just does it. It provides the file and it sends it to you. Um, so I'm quite enjoying this. Um, I'm not going to use Megasync because it's its own client to do downloads and there's no point in me installing that. I'm not going to import it to my cloud drive because I don't want it to link through because, well frankly, why, why risk it? Instead I'm going to download through my browser. Uh, that should start, hopefully. 1%, 2%, there we go, bang, bang, bang. And that's going to go through. That's going quite quickly. And the other one is... Well, the two combined is about four minutes, which is good. Uh, so I think we will wait this one out. Yep. We'll wait for this to finish, and I'll be back to you in a few minutes. Go get a drink. <sighs> Okay, uh, Road Hunter has downloaded. Um, just need to save it to the downloads folder now. So we're going to OK that. There we go. That's good. So we just got to wait for the truck to finish downloading. Uh, we've got less than a minute to go now. In fact, if we show all the downloads, does it give us any more information? No, not really. Okay, downloads are done. So we can look at these in the folder. There we go. Minimize or close that one for now. Uh, as you can see, 
I have a, a number one next to them. I did actually download these files earlier, um, but uh, recording issues and practicing, I had to download them again just for the video. So uh, if you were to go through these, you probably wouldn't have the, the number one next to them because you know, there'd be a unique download. That's the theory. So I'm just going to minimize the browser window for a moment, and we're going to open these up in, oops, over there. WinRAR. Uh, the first one's a zip, but that's okay. WinRAR can cope with that. And this is the file we're looking for, the .scs file. Uh, quite often I've noticed now that the mod packages that are on the sharing sites, it's the full mod. It's all the all the elements you need to, to, to actually make the mod using the ETS tools. Um, and it doesn't actually have the SCS file in it to run. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain because quite often as well they don't mention this on the description page. Uh, if that happens then you basically just have to go and find it again from another site or um, try and uh, get one that's just the package model. You, you can even package it yourself if you've got the right tools but I'm not going to go into that. So we need to copy this to our mods folder which I have prepared here. And what ETS2 does, um, if I'm using Windows 10, as you can probably tell, uh, ETS2 goes into your My Documents folder. So when you look at your PC and your shortcut for documents, uh, you have a number of games that might be put in their uh, subfolders in here, and ETS2 is one of them. So we open up the ETS2 folder. And then we've got a mod folder here. Uh, mod backups is something I've done because uh, I run quite a lot of the mods and I wanted to keep it tidy just for this video. So we look at the mod folder and as we can see it's empty currently. Um, and we saw that at the beginning when we looked at uh, the game itself. So we're going to drag in from WinRAR the SCS file that's going to unpack. There we go, that's put itself in there. So that's gone from 175 megabytes to 577 nearest, damn it. Uh, that's unpacked. And while we're here, we'll do Road Hunter as well. So we just uh, open the trailer pack. Oh, there's a few more files in this one. There's a picture, there's a readme. Um, there's individual readmes for each of the trailer types by the look of it. I'm not going to worry about those now. I'm just going to unpack the trailers into here. Uh, that's taking slightly longer. I guess it's bigger, is it? Yes, there's the the compressed file was 335 meg. You see over here, and it's unpacked to one point. Well, near as near as damn it, 1.5 gig. Look at that. Okay, cool. Right, let us then open the game and let's see where these mods have gone. Now, I'm not going to be able to drive anything, unfortunately, because I don't have my wheel plugged in. go and unfortunately I also have WinRAR just, just peeking in the bottom of the screen there because I'm not running the game full screen okay right let's tidy it up so let's look at the mod manager now and there we have it two mods Freightliner Classic XL and the Road Hunter trailer pack uh, if you haven't played with the mod manager yet it's a very powerful um, application SCS have done a good job here you can break it down by categories as you can see trucks, trailers, and anything else you could uh, care to mention. Obviously, I've only got the two in here, so I'm not going to worry too much about breaking the categories down, but when you've got dozens and dozens of mods, it becomes very useful. Um, the, the mods that have been designed for the later versions of the games will come with um, pictures and hopefully information pages as well. There we go, so we can look at the info on this one. Um, and that's basically the same as the uh, description that was in the web page, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and the trailer will probably have the same. Yep. Oh, he's got his own website. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good. Ah, oh, I shall have to go through to his own website and do that one. Uh, so we're going to add these across. So add the mods across. We can either uh, double hit the traffic light system here. If the mod's not compatible, that will be red. And you won't be able to load it. So you can either double click the light or you can highlight it and drag it across. 
Uh, you do have some tools within the active mods. You can decrease the priority. You can jump them to the bottom. You can move them up. Um, you can select multiple mods at once to drag across. Uh, but as we've only got the two, I don't think it's really important what order they load in. Once we start looking at map mods, and I'll do a video on map mods as well, we'll uh, look at maybe pro mods and Poland rebuilding. Uh, possibly Russian mod, although I think there's some issues with that at the moment. But we do map mods as a, as a separate video, I think. Uh, so I've included those two. I'm going to continue the game. Uh, quite often mods will change your splash screen here as well. They haven't in this case. The map mods tend to. There we go. Uh, so if we look at the truck dealers, I think the Freightliner is in Iveco. Uh, and there happens to be one in my hometown for the game. That's where my, my uh, main garage is. So I'm going to buy online. Oh, there we go. Freightliner Classic XL. Beautiful. Let's customise that. Have a quick look. That's a nice looking model, isn't it? That's good. Um, I'm not going to go through the model in any great detail at the moment. Just make sure it kind of works. Lots of different engines. Uh, gearboxes. 18 speed. Good. 18 speed is my favourite. Um, interior. There's only one option. Paint. Ah. Ah. There's the custom paint. Oh. Hey. That's quite nice. Okay. First time I've seen that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and we've got a number of external options as well, which is good. The usual things, the hood ornaments, deflectors, all the rest of it. Let's look inside. Anything changed here? Oh, that's the front bumper. That's actually an outside pin. Never mind. Uh, dashboard set. Oh, that's for the cabin accessories DLC, I'm guessing which I don't actually have, so I can't see anything there. Oh, that's nice. That, that is a, a, a add-on. Notebook. Oh, oh, right. They've done all these individual items that was forced on the seat before. So you can do that manually now, can you? Packet of cigarettes. Okay, lovely. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, well, we just buy that for now. Uh, purchase and put it in my home garage. Oh, I've got a truck assigned to me already. That's not good. Let's put it in the spare spare slot. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just relocate myself to that truck. Nice. Okay. And we shall jump. Oh, you see the engine block through there. That's quite good. We'll just jump in that. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's got a American Eagle on the back as well. That looks pretty good. Uh, can I start it with the keyboard? Yep. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Um, can I steer? Oops, rolled down the hill. Ah, oh, there's the handbrake button. That's good. <laughs> I didn't know what the handbrake button was. Nice. Oh, that's pretty good. So, there we go. That's the truck in anyway. Let's switch that off. And let's see about these trailers. Uh, if we look at the job market into the freight market um, and we don't appear to have any in yet these are just the stock game trailers that's not a problem it's not a huge surprise sometimes you have to um, sleep for a day or two to get the trailers to filter through the jobs list um, so what we're going to do is what's the time it's five o'clock in the morning game time um, i'm gonna i'm gonna sleep basically for a couple of uh a couple of days and force the job market to refresh because I can't drive the truck I'm going to do it using the developer console um, which is another thing entirely and I'm just going to set the time forward let's do that for four in the morning um, let's do another one let's move it forward again it's a three in the morning the following day so that's effectively rolled us forward a couple of days 
If we look at the job market now, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yay, there we go. So these are the heaviest ones. These are the Caterpillars, the 75 tons. Um, these are good fun to tow or to haul, I should say, probably. Um, but uh, a lot of the mod trucks have difficulties hauling this heavy load. It lifts the front wheels off the ground. It puts too much weight on the rear axle, lifts the front up and you can't steer. There are a couple of mod trucks that do work happily with the heavy loads and I'll do reviews on those uh, as and when I remember. Um, the truck we've got now, the Freightliner, I think it can pull the 40 ton quite happily. Um, the kind of mid 30s, 40 ton trucks or trailers it can pull, that's okay. And as you can see, there's just loads of trailers in here. Uh, low loaders, cranes, there's, there's all sorts of things. This Road Hunter pack is really nice. Uh, that's a stock trailer. Um, it's even got some really light ones with empty trailers. Um, what else have we got? That's an empty trailer. Uh, oh, helicopters. Well, that'd be good. Um, so there's plenty of options here for trailers as well. And that's it, really. Um, that is a hopefully quick tutorial once I edit it down on how to get trucks and trailers included or mods in general, really. Um, like I say, mod order can be very, very important. Um, but not so much for the trucks and the trailers for maps and things yes it becomes more important then uh, so i hope that was useful um let me know what you think you know thumbs up thumbs down leave a comment um any particular mods you would like to see brought in and tested i will do a, a separate road test on the freightliner and uh, the trailer pack as well and i'll do another video on putting maps in and see how how we get on now yeah so like i say let me know uh, leave a comment uh, Grumpy Gaming Dad here. Thanks very much for watching to the end, and I shall see you next time. Take care.